What about one issue voting? I think one of the things that most separates white and black Christians in America is one issue voting. A defeat for a pro-life bill on the Senate floor. This bill was very specific. It only would protect infants who survived abortions at the end of the term by requiring health care officials to treat them with the same degree and skill and care that they would of any other baby. But it was short of the 60 votes needed to advance. I, 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 that's unspeakable. It's hard for me to find words for how gruesome that is to say that if an abortion is unsuccessful and a child survives, that that child should not have legal protection and should be killed anyway. I think white Christians think this is the only moral way to approach voting. I think they've never thought of any other thing, generally. I couldn't watch the Democratic National Convention. I, I'm, I'm so grieved by their celebration of abortion. And abortion is such a kind word. Um, it, it's the annihilation of human life. Um, I'm, I'm grieved by that. I'm, I'm also grieved by the absolute ignorance of many people who are targeted by abortionists. Um, black women make up around 11% of the population, but a third or more of the abortions. Um, black and Hispanic women combined uh, around a quarter of the population, more than half of the abortions. Uh, in major cities in the U.S., more than half of all pregnancies of black women end in abortion. Uh, we've been targeted since the onset, but it was before Planned Parenthood um, and Margaret Sanger's Negro Project. We've been targeted by abortionists. And now to see black people flock to a party whose platform and history has been dead set on their annihilation boggles my mind. I think one of the things that most separates white and black Christians in America is one issue voting. And I can vote for a candidate who I disagree with about some very important issues that I don't really think they're going to get anything done on, but I agree with them on these other issues that I think are going to help a lot of people. I think a lot of our African American brothers and sisters realized like a long time ago that, well, there are going to be a bunch of different issues that are going to be affecting us. I think white Christians think this is the only moral way to approach voting. I think they've never thought of any other thing, generally. I think a lot of our African American brothers and sisters realized like a long time ago that, well, there are going to be a bunch of different issues that are going to be affecting us. And I can vote for a candidate who I disagree with about some very important issues that I don't really think they're going to get anything done on. But I agree with them on these other issues that I think are going to help a lot of people. Can, even if you don't adopt that thought yourself, can you allow space for that in your church as a morally legitimate argument and option? One issue voting. And I'm not trying to say one issue voting is illegitimate. I, I, I'm saying I think that's clearly there is one way you can think through your vote and you can sort of champion that. But I think a lot of white evangelicals assume that's the only morally legitimate position or, or only position that could be argued to have moral legitimacy. And I would, I certainly would like to question that.